Welcome back. You know, people are questioning the credibility of the anti-corruption war to this time because when you factor some of the cases like the NIA's cases, uh, case, the um, Barbary Law case, some other cases to do with the judges also, and uh, a particular list that was supposed to have been made public of uh, corrupt individuals in this country that has never shown its face up to this time. What do you think is, are we making progress at all? Look, we are making huge progress. But we have not reached our destination. We have left the bus stop. We, have, we are on a journey. Before 2015, we were not even talking about anti-corruption at all. But now we are talking about it. That is huge progress. But we are still far away from our destination. Let me tell you something about the anti-corruption war. The whole thing is centered on the will of the leader, the president, to allow the agency's function. I'm saying that from very deep experience. Nobody should overpraise or undermine the effort of any of the heads of the agencies, no. It is what they tell them that they do. What if they say, look, go ahead, I'm not restricting you, do what you have to do. And that is the, that is the support that Mago is enjoying from the president now. I have prosecuted for some of these agencies for more than a decade. I can tell you that confidently from an insider's point of view, that this acting chairman of EFCC is one of the most blessed in the sense that he has absolutely no restriction on what he does. He has been given the go-ahead and the free hand to work and to function effectively. And that is why you see the results coming out, a lot of results coming out. There has been no massive recovery of funds in the history of the commission as it's happening now. So we must also record, we must also um, rate the commission, not in terms of even the returns on convictions. Of course, there are a, lot, a few coming in now, not only, but also the returns in terms of recovery because criminal prosecution achieves two things. One, convictions, two, recovery. So there's a lot of success in recovery, even though it's not coming through conviction. But a lot of success through recovery. But so that's a that huge success. Seen as, as lopsided? What? There's no, there's no lopsided thing there because the end justifies the means. Because you are, uh, the, you are, because you are the recovering, APC, you are the, recovering because, funds. Because the argument now is that yes. the APC, uh, 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 people who are corruptly amounts money from the, and, and I in the APC, have been protected. So that's a level of lopsidedness, don't you think? No, you see, you see let me tell you this. The, the, the people that the anti-corruption crusade is directed at. They are very powerful. They are intelligent people too. They are principalities. They are changing the narrative. What you are hearing is an effort to change the narrative. Somebody is telling you that, look, yes, I'm not defending myself, but the only defense I have is that, what about you? Are you not corrupt to bring the, rein the other people into? There's no rule of law that says that once a thief is caught, that until you catch the accomplice, you, you must let that thief go scot free. There's no rule of law that says so. So what you hear that people are plowed to, you know, this sentiment they play to, I mean, they play to the gallery, uh, overnight activists who have not been active before, they are mouthing rule of law, rule of law, rule of law. They just mouth it without telling me the content of the rule of law in the fight against corruption. Let us sit down and have a debate. What are you talking? What is the rule of law you are talking about? Is it the rule of law I know that I practiced for nearly three decades? Mm. The rule of law you are talking about is that you should sit down at home and somebody, you are drinking tea and somebody will call you and be interrogating you on phone. It's the first is that scale. the rule of law you are talking about? It's the first that you should scale. not be arrested, that's you should not be raided, your house should not be raided and searched. Once is place. that, you start talking rule of that, law. That's a good place to let it uh, lie. Uh, Mr. Festus Kiamo, Senior Advocate of Nigeria, thank you so much indeed for talking to us on both the first custody and of course, the war against corruption. We do uh, appreciate your presence with us here on Sunrise Daily. And that's how the show has been. I am Gimba Omar. Bye for now. Thank you for watching. I'm Neo Taegbe. I'm Ajuri Ngilali. Have a nice day.